Vous savez ça, Rome, monsieur Quel beau voyage Vous traverserez la Bourgogne, le pays des fameux vins. Louis Corton, Romanet, Chambertin. Rien que d'y penser, ça me fait venir l'eau à la bouche. Puis Lyon et le Rhône. La vallée du Rhône, monsieur, l'avez-vous déjà vue Eh bien, quand vous l'aurez vue, ramenez mon téléphone. N'importe, n'importe. I thought you were never coming. Am I very late? Do you know, I, I nearly didn't come. Why? Didn't you want to? Oh, of course I did. But the risk, your wife. Oh, don't be afraid of that. Sarge, as a matter of fact, I've telephoned to her already. Oh, we're going to be so terribly happy. Oh, I know we are, but we, we must be careful. Oh, of course we'll be careful. I've thought about everything. Come on. We've only got a minute to do. I love it. Oh, you were lovely in your last picture. How nice. Uh, do you like Rome, madam? I love it. Yeah, just crazy about it. Such a beautiful city. Except you left home, madam. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. Yes, it is a beautiful city. So different from New York. So uh, old. Old? <laughs> I'll say it's old. Got whiskers on it stretching from here to B.C. <laughs> Do you understand you're going to Rome to make a picture, madame? Yes, yeah, she's starring in the English version of an Italian talkie, and the contract say he don't blame me if he gets in the favors, but runs over five figures. Uh, I have so many friends in Rome. Yeah, the, the dream of Italian society. Don't think she's high hat. No. In spite of all her country, she remains just a simple, home-loving girl. What about this rumor of your engagement to the Marquis de Mazurier? Oh, I'm afraid I can't say anything about that for a while. Yeah, but you can take it from me. There's no smoke without fire, eh, gentlemen? Uh, <laughs> may we have a picture, Miss Marlowe? Yes, sure. Vous êtes prêt, monsieur? Oui. Allô. McBain is my name. Alistair McBain. Knew you at once, sir. I may say so. Ah, mm, indeed. You maybe have the number of your compartment, sir. Well, I have a special compartment reserved for you, of course. My two of the secretaries don't offer the tickets. Ah. Where the devil have you been? Sorry, sir, the bookstore. These papers you asked me to get, it's crowded, sir. I had to wait. Well, that's no reason why I should wait. Now, don't stand there like a fool, man. Give them the tickets. Yes, sir. Oh, for heaven's sake, man, pull yourself together. Oh, wait. 
Auf Wiedersehen, gute Reise. Auf Wiedersehen, gute Reise. Gute Reise. En voiture, s'il vous plaît. Au bas, au bas, au bas. Soyez donc, mais en voiture, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Au bas. 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 Au bas.
I'm a little afraid, that's all. Well, there's no need to be. I suppose not. The train has brought me down to earth. Husbands become such a habit. <laughs> so do wives. Still, darling, we're going to have a change. I can't help wondering what would happen if Jim got to hear of it. Well, I'm only wondering about you. Supposing there's someone on the train who knows us. My dear, why should there be? You know, I believe you're still a little bit in love with that husband of yours. Are you? No, of course not. How could I be after what he did? on the train. My information... My information is always correct. If it is not, then there's trouble for the informant. He might have been warned. That was attended to. He thinks we are still in London. Pardon me. What are we going to do? You would recognize him if you saw him? Not from this. Yes. Then you take a promenade down the train and keep your eyes open. See you later in my compartment when the others are at dinner. A beautiful day. Yes. Warm, though. Yes. It will be hot in Rome. Yes. You are going to Rome, monsieur? Yes. I too. My first holiday in four years. Uh, you are on holiday, monsieur? No such luck. Business. Oh, c'est dommage. It will be hot in the hills, too. In the hills? Yes. You see, I go to Rome for my hobby. Uh, I am a coleopterist. Huh? Uh, what you call a bug hunter. Beetles. Beetles? That must be very interesting. Baron Vanelli, miss. What again? Put them with the others. Come on. Well, what now? My dinner's ready. Got it all fixed. If you come in the dining car, I've got a gag that'll knock them cold. Oh, Sam. Now listen. As soon as you sit down, Biff, we take a picture. See, you know, with all the waiters around. You sign the menus with one hand and throw in kisses to the garçons with the other. I can hardly wait. Yep, always on the job. Just full of ideas. Think up a gag, then plug it. That's my slogan. I know, Sam, but I'd like to be my own sweet self once in a while. And, oh, boy, that feeling's growing. Yeah, but I wouldn't let that get too much of a hold on you. After all, publicity is publicity. And say, when you eat, boy, they'll be sitting up at the soup and paralyzed at the demitasse. I suppose everybody knows I'm on the train. Why, sure. What do you take me for? Think I'm dumb? Now get this, Sam. I want to rest. I want to be myself until we get to Rome. Rome? Rome? Now you're talking. Say, if I got a gag for you, say there's going to be the swellest reception and the carpet's all laid now on the listen, platform. Now listen, Sam. I'm so sick and tired of being Exhibit A. You promised me a rest on this trip. You know how I feel. Yeah, I know how you feel. I know just how you feel. Still not. You can come in the dining car, can't you? No. But I'm here. Stay here. 
I made all the arrangements. Well, then run along and unmate them. Say, what about that champagne and the caviar the Russian prince sent you? <sighs> Personally, I'm having a glass of milk and one aspirin right here. But the champagne. Shoot! And the caviar. Scram! And then I put him in my little bottle. I kept the stopper on. So, he is caught. And from the bottle, there is no escape. Really? Very interesting. And then, there is another thing. I often find... Entrez. Pardon, monsieur. Je vous croyais seul. Je vous dérange, peut-être. Mais non. Eh bien, au moment du départ, j'ai vu plusieurs de vos amis monter dans le train. Oh. Ils sont dans la voiture 2. He tells me that I have some friends on the train. Uh, I must have a word with them, if you will excuse me. Oh, uh, certainly. No, thanks. Quel compartiment? Voiture 2, compartiment 3, monsieur. Peculiar old fellow, that. You think so, monsieur? Cheers. He's been telling me all about beetles. Apparently he catches them. Ah, oui, that is his great hobby. Ah. Oh, well, he's a bit of a bore. Oh, quite harmless. Not so harmless, monsieur. Hmm? Between ourselves, monsieur Joly catches other things besides his beetles. Ah. What's that? He is head of the Sûreté. The Sûreté? Mm-hmm. The police. Mm -hmm. Papa Jolif, they call him. And it is said that he never forgets a face. Monsieur has finished with this? Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes, thanks. Uh, I say, steward, uh, what's the dinner like? The dinner? Ah, it's very good, monsieur. A little minute, monsieur. I have the menu here. Consommé Célestine, filet de sole Saint-Germain, poulet rôti au cresson, petit pois, pomme nouvelle, salade lorette, bombe glacée, fromage et fruits. À la carte, you can have... Crème, tomate, filet de sole, des poulets rôti. Petit point, pomme nouvelle. Alors, ensuite, le numéro 15. Alors, Everything is ready, sir. Yeah, so I see, so I see. My word, but that's swell, huh? Ah, but I'm sorry to say, Madame Marvel won't be able to come here. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I want to change my compartment. Oh, you're not comfortable then, Mr. Well, uh, uh, well yes. uh, I've got a double compartment and I want a single one. Oh, I regret. Uh, well, if there's anything more to pay. Mm, I'm sorry, but it is practically impossible. Oh, no, no, but I, I must change my compartment. Oh. Uh, well, it's, um, it's too noisy. It's uh, mm. too near the engine and my nerves. Oh, it's uh, a pity. Uh, there is room in a double compartment. But it is a lady, you understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as soon as you can. Uh, yes. Pool, pool is the name. P W L E. Oh, Pool. Very good, Monsieur. Uh, the ticket. Oh yes. Thank you for just yes. Just a service. Monsieur. Bless my soul! If it isn't George Grant. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd do that voice of Prince Dorian. <laughs> How are you, old scoundrel? Oh, very well, thanks. <laughs> Anybody sitting here? Well, I, uh... I'll join you. What a small world it is to be sure. 
bit different from the old serpent and golf course, eh, George? Yes. <laughs> yes. How's the wife? Uh, oh, um, well, she's very well, thanks. And the chicks? Oh, splendid. Oh, splendid. good. Yes. They aren't with you, I see. No, 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 they're not here now. Well, this is a jolly reunion, that's what I call this. <laughs> we must have a drink to celebrate. What do you have, George? Oh, thanks very much. I'll, I'll have a gin and etta. Uh, your friend? Um, whiskey. Whiskey. Uh, garçon. Uh, s'il vous plaît. Uh, un gin and it, and deux whiskey, uh, a perrier. Yes, yeah, monsieur. Uh, I didn't catch your friend's name. Oh, um, oh, this is Mr. Poole. Uh, Mr. Poole, he's a business acquaintance of mine. He's, uh, helping me out on the continent. What, not the Poole of London, eh? <laughs> I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Poole. <laughs> you mustn't mind my sense of humor, Mr. Poole. <laughs> my wife often says I'll be the death of her with my little cracks. <laughs> you know me, don't you, George? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, this is Mr. Bishop. He's a neighbor of mine at home. Yes, where Brother Golf was on the green sward. <laughs> Divin big as a dagger to me, George. <laughs> uh, yes. uh, um, Mr. Poole uh, is sharing my compartment, number 12, in the next carriage. Oh, yes. Sharing the same dog box, eh? <laughs> ah. Here we are. Let's do it. C'est pour madame? Uh, no, no. Ah, uh, no, no, no. That, that, that's for me. Uh, uh, and hey, monsieur. Yeah. Et moi. Yes. yes. Oh, we should be able to enjoy a nice game of poker later on, eh? Yes. I was wondering how I was going to beguile the tedium of the voyage. <laughs> yes, there's a bit of luck, eh? What do you say, George? Yes. Yes. What do you say, Mr. Poole? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a bit of luck for all of us. Yes. Yes. Well, Hooray. 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 No. There we are now. What about the eats? Here's that notice from the Echo, sir. Read it. At the next table, I saw Mr. Alistair McBain, the famous millionaire philanthropist and art collector, who, as usual, looked the soul of kindly benevolence. Ah. Have they mentioned me a connection with that library bequest at Canning Town? I'll see, sir. Oh, say, listen to this. From shop girl to screen star, the story of my life by Aston Marvell. I didn't okay that. No, but I didn't. Let me see it. No, this is only the first installment up to the time you got that job in the jewelry store in New York. Oh, say, listen. Next week, Miss Aston Marvell will tell you how a robbery at her place of employment gave her the chance of a screen career. Our readers will no doubt remember... Let me see that. Great stuff, huh? See what I'm getting you? Baby, you'll slay him. When I get through with this campaign, what you eat for breakfast will be front page news. Same old bunk. Makes me sick. I like that bit, Knowles. Read it again. Yes, sir. Mm. Only last week, he made a generous donation to the rebuilding fund of the West London Library. I hear from a well-informed quarter that we may look for his name in the next honors list. Ah, oh, not bad, eh? Very gratifying indeed, sir. Oh, by the by, Mills. Yes, sir? I see from your accounts you took a taxi from the hotel this morning. Yes, sir. Only eight francs, sir. Well, I don't pay you to write about in taxis. Well, I was detained, sir. Those cables to answer. Well, get up earlier. It's cheaper. Yes, sir. And don't bite your nails. Doesn't look as though they're going to recover the missing Van Dyke, sir. Really? Does it say something there about it? Well, just a paragraph, sir. Read it out. It is now ten days since the theft of the Van Dyke picture from the murder collection. The police are still without a single clue as to the whereabouts of the picture or the thieves. However, the police are of the opinion that... Uh, yes, well, it says men not right. He's have accepted my offer. Yes, sir. He must be kicking himself now. All the principal collectors were after it. Yes. And mine was the highest bid. The damn fool turned it down. 
I wanted that painting. I'd gone to any lengths to get it. I wonder where it is now. Uh, yes, sir. That's Swozo Brown. Well, uh, uh, a uh, purple. Yes, sir. Well, uh, well, wouldn't we be getting back to our compartment? Yes, yes. I suppose we'd better. See you later. Oh, no, that's all right. I can be looking to your compartment for a smoke of a yard. Ah. And don't forget that game of poker. Mm -hmm. Yes, the fool. <laughs> Not a bad dinner, was it? No, not too bad. Oh, I shouldn't like too much of this following messed up stuff. <laughs> the poly wasn't bad, though. No. I say, George. Yeah. Did you notice that little piece at our table? What? That little piece. Oh. Well, Rather yes. tasty, I thought, didn't you? Mm. Any idea who she is? No, I, I've never seen her. French, of course. Well, I must say yeah. that... Uh, I've, uh, I've left my cigarettes on the table. Look here, you fellas go on. I, I'll follow you later. Yeah, I said, George. Yeah? And if you're logs... I saw her first, you know. <laughs> Would you get to know me better, Mr. Thorne? I'm so sorry, darling. That was a near thing. But, but that fellow Bishop's the most awful scandal monger. I didn't dare risk it. Something like that would happen. Yes, I know. But it was jolly decent of that fellow Poole to help us out. You know, I think we'd better separate. Uh, just for the moment. I'll get a conductor and he can find you a vacant place. And then? Oh, it'll be all right. I'll get rid of those, too. You won't worry, will you? No. Everything will be all right, I promise you. Well? Not a sign of him. <laughs> yeah, he's vice. He's lying low. Well, we can't search the whole train. Sooner or later he will show himself and... then... I think of him walking away with that picture. We must be careful. We can't take unnecessary risks. Are you losing your nerve? No. no it's just hanging about. If you wish to occupy your too active mind, go to the train controller. Ask him to show you the list of passengers. Tell him you are looking for a friend, of Mr. Mr. Kelsey. Kelsey, that's his real name. It's hardly likely to... I know, I know. He will probably be using another. But there's never any harm in trying in if you this. I'm sorry. How do you do? How do you do? Bye-bye. See you later. Mm-hmm. And the reception committee, believe me, it's unbelievable. One prince, a couple of counts, three dukes, and a whole raft of barons, besides half the pressmen in Italy. No doubt I shall be a sensation. And say, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if old man Mussolini himself wasn't in the lineup. Yes. Now I've heard about enough about myself for one day, Sam. Well, I was only doing the best for you. I know. I know, Sam. Now run along and let me relax for a while, will you? Well, after all, publicity is publicity. And don't forget, I was once press agent to Tom Mix's horse. Good enough for anybody, ain't it? Oh, I beg you. Goldie. I think you've made a mistake. Uh, I'm Madame Marvell. Mistake? I couldn't make a mistake about you. Tony. Don't you remember? Tell me. Oh, I knew you would. We can't talk here. Well? Well? Now that you've found me, what do you want? Found you? I didn't even know you were on the train. No, it's good to see you again. You weren't following me, were you? No. Oh, why should I? Oh, I'm sorry, Tony. One gets suspicious of old friends who know things. Well, if it worries you my being here, I'll clear up. Oh, please don't. No, sit down. It's four years ago. It's all dead and forgotten. Yes, I know. Sometimes the past jumps out at you. See what my manager showed me today. And even mentions the robbery. Brought it all back somehow. Supposing it came out that I was mixed up in it. It can't. It won't. Now you and I are the only two people who know. What about Rico? He's dead. What fools we were to listen to him. Oh, I don't know. After all, it was through you getting our pictures in the papers that you're where you are now. I know. But you... Oh, it doesn't seem right somehow. What 
are you doing now? I'm going to Rome. Yes, it is the Rome Express, isn't it? What is it, Tony? The same old game? Why don't you get out of it? Too deep in. You're losing your grip, Tony. Why don't you pull yourself out while there's still time? Oh, hell, what's the use? Who cares, anyway? Someone or other. Maybe. Maybe not. I must be going. Shall I see you again? If you want to. Do you? I'll tell you when I see you. Well, don't worry too much about the grimy past. Madame Marvel. Madame. Merci bien, madame. Thank you. Oh, I'm afraid I'm disturbing you. Uh, not particularly. Indeed, your presence is rather an asset. In case of an accident, we could assist each other. Oh, quite. Unless, of course, we were both disabled at the same time. Aren't you being rather pessimistic? Oh, I always go through life expecting the very worst. It's so nice if it doesn't happen. Now, you know the Sebring course. Why so off the fairway? You're in the consomme. In the what? In the consomme. So, when I remember the 10th, you're going to scream at this, I gave my ball a terrific swipe, and away it went over the hill, out of sight, onto the green, this is a yell, and plunked it to the can. Now, my partner, Charlie, said to me, you know Charlie, uh, Charlie Wood, not Charlie Brown. Well, Charlie said to me, pot luck, old boy, pot luck. <laughs> yes, but you haven't heard it yet. It's what I said to him. Now, I said to him, Charlie, I said, Charlie, Charlie, I said, I said, Charlie, I said, 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 Oh, sorry. I'll be back for that game of cards. Oh, yes, yes, we'll think about that here. Yes, and remember, I don't slice at poker. <laughs> See you later. Well, now that our golfing friend's gone, I won't trouble you to stay any longer. Thank you for helping me out of that hole. Don't mention it. Besides, you're not troubling me. I'm very comfortable where I am. But you want to go back to your own compartment, don't you? But this is my compartment. Didn't I hear you telling that prize bore that we were travelling together? I know. But you saw why I did it. Oh, yes. I saw. But I've an even bigger prize bore in my carriage. Yes, but look here, I say... Well, of course. If you like to find me another compartment. Single, for preference. I might move. Cigarette. Ça se comprend bien. Ça va. 
Euh, ouvrez ici, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Euh, je n'ai pas déclaré. Ouvrez. Ah non, il faut examiner. Il n'y a rien à l'intérieur. Rien. On verra. Ah ah! Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Ah ah! C'est pas mal, hein? On est moi ça. Il a des coups, hein? Vous avez de l'arpette? De l'artistique. Ah oui, de l'artistique, monsieur. Ça va. Ça vous pourra en fermer. Merci. Il y en a encore ici? Il n'y a rien dedans qui pourrait vous intéresser. Ah, et c'est pas cache, monsieur. C'est ce que ça vous, ça? Non, non. C'est monsieur... Euh, où est monsieur Il vient de sortir par là. Ah, monsieur, vous me cherchez, s'il vous plaît. I found that man pool, a single compartment. So will be free at one o'clock when we get to Dutri. You can come in then. You're not going to let me down, are you, darling? Oh, no, but... Oh, I promise you everything will be all right. Pardon, monsieur. C'est votre combattement, n'est-ce pas Yes. Would you come in here and open your bags, please? All right. Damn the customs. You won't let me down. Remember, one o'clock in the morning. Yes, you darling. Nothing to take care of? You don't have anything to find? No, nothing at all. Oh, that's all. You can open it. And that, what is that? Tell me, she's there. Do you have any other luggage? Um, are there luggage? No. Bon. Alors, we're finished now. any bridges during the night? I don't know. Why? Well, have you never thought? A bridge must weaken every time a train crosses it. Someday or other it will give way. I suppose it must. <laughs> All I hope is that I'm not picked up unconscious. Some of these railway men are so familiar. Oh. Now I've made up a party with this little flutter of ours in the dining car. Come along. All right. 
But I warn you, I'm turning in by one o'clock. Oh, there'll be plenty of time to put us in the rough. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Poole? Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather not. Afraid of our handicap, eh? <laughs> no, and I'm not very partial to crowds. And if we're going to play in the dining car... Oh, it'll be empty, men. Except for us. Come on. Oh, all right. You can count me in. Splendid. Let's go. <laughs> Remember, you're moving out when we come back. Yes. One o'clock. Pardon. Uh, shall I make up the bed? Yes, please. Catch your name. Zerta. This is Mr. Poole of London. The Poole of London, in fact. <laughs> I'm very glad to meet you, Mr. Poole. This is my dear old friend, George Graff. One of the very best. How do you do? How do you do? Well, come on, boys. Won't you sit down, Mr. Poole? Ah, the castle. Come on, lick out. Here we are. Here we are, George. A oh, okay. chaise, that's right. Oh. <laughs> well, we've got the weapons for the offensive. Now we can get on with the fray. Will you excuse me for a moment? I, I've forgotten something. I, I've left... I've forgotten my money. Well, haven't you got enough to carry on with? You can rely on me to help you out, Mr. Poole. Splendid. Now, what's it going to be? Jackpots or straight poker? Sure. Straight poker, I think. Yes, I think so. Yes. Well, what, what, what's going to be the stakes? Well, I don't know. Uh, 100 francs? What do you say, Mr. Poole? Um, oh, yes, that's all right. I hope. And the, uh, the live field, eh? Yes. Oh. I say, the ace of spades. Oh, <laughs> that's unlucky. Poor old Poole. Will you take breakfast, sir? Nine o'clock. Very good, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. I'll make it two hundred. And fifty. And Mr. Poole? Um, and fifty. I'm out. Hundred and ninety-five. Let's see it. All right, I'll see. All right. What you got? Full house by George. Okay. Well, that sees me. And me. That's another hundred I owe you. Well, the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. You, you've begun the evening well, Mr. Poole. <coughs> Let's hope you landed as fortunately. May I take my note back? Thank you. Now, 
No. I'll open, I'll open for another 25. That's 50. 20 for 75. I'm in. Standards. I said, George, we would have been a bunch of crooks. <laughs> we'll make it 150. Say die, Mrs. Zerta. Perhaps you'll get it later. sort of thing isn't human. <laughs> Who asked you to play anyway? <laughs> Your money, Pooh. Not a good gracious me. Look at this. Oh, I don't see anything like it. Oh, I have to tell old Charlie about this. <laughs> Anything like that in all my puff. Lucky devil. What do they say? Unlucky in cards? Lucky in Lord whatever it is? A very successful wind up of the evening for you, fool my boy. All right. I said a kid. Couldn't we play a little longer? What? What a rook is a little bit more, do you, you rascal? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm gonna get some sleep. Yes, I think we have played enough, Mr. Fool. Forget your winnings, Mr. Poole. What, forgetting his winnings? Oh, oh, oh. He must be a multimillionaire. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Poole. That's it, George, you know. Yeah, oh, you'll tell me about this. Merci bien, I think you ought to thank us for a very profitable evening. Yes. Thanks. Never mind. One of these nights we'll have our revenge. What do you say, Mr. Zerta? <laughs> yes. We will have our revenge. Good night, Mr. Poole. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. Poole. Oh, good night, you fellas. Good night, George. Don't be late in the morning. Oh, um, see that no one disturbs me before 8 o'clock, will you? 8 o'clock, Mr. Poole. Good night. That's all right. Good, good, good night. Oh, good night, Mr. Zerda. Uh, good night, Mr. Um... Bishop. Bishop, Bishop. Yes. yes. Bishop be name, but not be nature. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Look here, Grant. I'm not going to turn out. Not turning out? No, I... I... I can't. But this is the limit. You made a bargain with me, and you'll have to keep to it. But I can't. I'm sorry. Sorry? You seem to think sorry is an excuse for anything. Well, it isn't. Oh, get out of the way. Go oh, no, look here. Don't listen to me. I, I can explain everything. You don't know what you're doing, don't I? I know what I'm doing. 
I'm turning you out. Oh, no, look here, listen to me. Please don't do that. You don't understand. You don't know what this means to me. It means everything. Everything. Oh, I, I know that you've got your secret, but I've got mine too. I don't I give a you... damn about your secret. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Go wrong, Grant! You can't do anything while Grant's in there. Don't worry. I will persuade him to come out to talk to you. Well, I talk to Mr. Poon. Is he dead? No. No? In any case, that's his affair. <laughs> we are going to have a little talk, Mr. Poole. That... Uh, you... And then you are going for a long holiday. You remember when the picture was stolen? Well, my buyer didn't take it. I see. I told you that he paid me. But he hadn't. Oh, but, but then I heard there was somebody who was prepared to take it in Rome. If I would deliver it. Continue, continue. Oh, you'd have got your share all right. I swear you would. I... I meant to send it on to you from Rome. Mm-hmm. I see. Oh, but I... I, uh, I can tell you the man's name. Yeah, the... All right. Uh, well, you can... You can take the Van Dyke. I don't want it. You can take my share and the, and the Van... Here. There must be some mistake. This isn't my case. Well? I'll find it for you. I swear I will. It must be somewhere on the train. Take my winnings. Take the lot. That is all? Hey. <laughs> you need the holiday badly, my friend. Try to use a knife. I use it. And Grant? Hmm. He is only sleepy. It happened before I came in. We must have uh, had a slight argument. Why'd you do it? You must have been mad. No. Only a knife. Well, what in God's name are we going to do now? i show you. Come on. No, you can't. Come on, help. We're slowing down.
You can't leave him like that. No? Good night, sweetheart. Tony, open the door. Quickly. What's the matter? What's happened? Goldie, I'm in a jam. George. Oh. George. Oh. What's the matter? It's that fellow Poole. Hit me. Poole? Yes, I was trying to turn him out. He hit me with something. He's lying here. But why did he do it? I don't know. We, we were having an argument. I. Dad. Oh, how horrible. Oh, why did you drag me into this? You've got to go. I... Oh, don't be a fool. You know I can't go. Listen to me. There's no sense in both of us being mixed up in this. had better be open. Who is it? Wait a minute. 
But, madame, you will spoil it. I have a key. Oh, no, you mustn't. What do you want? Just for one moment, please. As madame was leaving, her skirt got caught in the door. Oh, it, it's quite all right now, thank you. Good night. Bonsoir, madame. Bonsoir, monsieur. Good night. Thank you. Yes. There, that is better, n'est-ce pas, monsieur? He's killed. Yes. Yes, yes I know. R but I can explain it. It's it's quite simple. I I'll tell you. Pardon, monsieur. It will be necessary for me to send for the chef de train. All right. But this lady, you won't want her. She can go back to her compartment, can't she? When the chef de train arrives, we'll all be questioned. That's going to be the devil of a job. Yes. You'd better go straight back to your own compartment and act as though nothing had happened. That's not so easy. Oh, pull yourself together, Tony. For both of us. Do you mean you're going to stand by me? Yes. You'd better go now. Hurry now. Remember, you don't know anything about it at all. Qu'est-ce qui se passe ici? Ce sont eux qui ont fait ça? Je les ai trouvés comme ça. Oui, il est mort. Alors voyons, comment ça peut être arrivé cette chose-là C'est un assassinat. Mais je vois bien que ça, il est mort. Oui. Voyons, voyons. Allez donc chercher immédiatement M. Joliffe. Bien, monsieur. Où est M. Joliffe M. Joliffe, c'est le chef de la police. Heureusement qu'il est ici, sur le train. Entrez. Pardon, monsieur, un crime vient d'être commis sur le train. Un crime Le contrôleur serait heureux si vous pourriez venir immédiatement. Oui. Dans la deuxième voiture. Eh bien. Deuxième voiture. Je viens tout de suite. Merci, monsieur. Andiamo. was when he saw the body. And yet you took steps to ensure silence. We've already explained why. Perhaps the dead man had discovered this intrigue of yours. And the only remedy was to silence him. That's well, ridiculous. <laughs> why, well, I've never met the man before today. And yet you introduced him to your friend Bishop as a colleague. Well, of course I did. That was to avoid the scandal. It wasn't true. I have questioned the other members of your little party. The men, Renzi and Zutter, declared that they met Poole for the first time at the card table. Yes, that's true, but can't you understand... And you, that... you alone, had met Poole before. You will admit that your story is unlikely. But it's the truth. Well, for heaven's sake, man, I've told you already. Poole said that he was frightened. But he was frightened of something. And that's why... I'm trying to tell you that Poole said he was frightened of something, and that's why, that's why he went for me when, when I tried to turn him out. And your proof of this? Again, I only have your word for it. Because I haven't got any proof. I was unconscious. I was, I was knocked on the head. You will be kept under observation until we get to Rome. You're not going to arrest us. That is not for me to decide. Oh, but, but if there's any kind of trial, I mean, everything will come out. 
Surely you can let this lady go. If her husband got to know about it, Unfortunately, I'm... monsieur, I am not a divorce lawyer. I am merely a police official. You will both be handed over to the authorities in Rome. Oh, please. May I take quest to a dentro uno compartimento? Va bene, signore. Fa presto. E sorvegliate bene. Pido. The note chief de la Ciote is what you call biting up the wrong tree. It's most satisfactory. Yes, particularly for that poor devil, Grant. Well, surely he's probably grilling him at this minute. It does you much credit, that tender heart of yours. Well, I can't help thinking of him. That about Asta Marvel too, hmm? Yeah, that's got nothing to do with you. A film star? You fly high, my friend. Oh, I knew her ages ago. I haven't seen her for years. I didn't even know she was on the train. No doubt it is this charming lady who has made you so difficult. Oh, Mills. You better go along and order breakfast. It's oh, very good, sir. You should needn't bother about that case. Oh, but I was going to read that speech to you over breakfast, sir. Well, don't. Oh, in that case, I'll just go over it until... Uh... Yeah. Mr. McBain. Well? well? This isn't my case. What do you mean, isn't your case? Well, it isn't, sir. These are only a few odd papers. You blundering fool. What do you suppose I pay you for? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I had it with me in the dining car last ah. night. I... Oh, there were some men playing cards at the next table. Perhaps they took well, money. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I think I'd better see the controller of the train about it, sir. You'd better. I'm extremely sorry, sir. Wouldn't oh, get it. out of it. Oh, Mills. Yes, sir? Order me a grapefruit for breakfast, will you? Yes, sir. We sink or swim together. I go under. You go under. Mm, you make me forget something. Uh, the object of our journey. What's that? We want that. You're not going to be fool enough to go out to that now, are you? Why not? I regard it as my property. I think our late friend said that someone had taken his briefcase by mistake. Now I wonder. Excuse me. No, I go Can you tell me if anyone has inquired about a briefcase? A briefcase? Yes, I took the wrong one by mistake last night. I'm sure it was in here. Well, no one has spoken to me about it, Monsieur. Oh, well. well someone must have mine. If anyone inquires, the case is in Mr. McBain's compartment, number seven. I'm his secretary. Mills is my name. Oh. And Mr. McBain will be along in a minute. Oh, garçon. Vous allez préparer une table immédiatement pour M. Badpain, s'il vous plaît. Non, M. Paris. Oh, that's a bit of luck. You will stay here and keep your eyes open for this Mr. McBain. I have a theory about this case. Really? The deceased wasn't killed at all. Oh, but I assure you, monsieur. It was a case of suicide. Now that is very original. But why suicide? Conscience. Conscience that made cowards of us all. Uh, pardon? Shakespeare. You know, uh, the Bard of Avon. The swan of, um, well, Shakespeare. Oh, Shakespeare. Now, point number one. The deceased had just won heavily at cards. Why? Because he'd rigged the pack. Rigged the pack? Yes. He'll have a, um, epically card. You know, card chopper. Ah, trichet aux cartes, monsieur. Oh, oui, 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 je comprends. You see? He had duplicate packs with him. They all do. That was why he carried the briefcase. Briefcase? Oui, petit portmanteau. Briefcase. Oh, oui, je comprends. Tell me, monsieur, did he take this briefcase back with him to his compartment? Of course. It never left him. Father like me may go to that. Eh bien, allez vite. <laughs> Examine encore le compartiment du décédé. Yeah, monsieur.
questo che si accava? Questo qui è il portafoglio. Sì, va bene. Adesso fate chiudere questo compartimento qui e fate attenzione che non entra più nessuno, eh? Sì. Va bene. Sugar in this mills. Yeah. Oh, really, sir? I'm sorry. You know perfectly well that I never take sugar. Right. I'd better order another one, sir. Well, now you've got it. Sit down. You seem to be incapable of carrying out my simplest instructions, Knowles. I'll go without. But, Mr. McBain. C'est le numéro 7. C'est le millionnaire dans le compartiment 7, monsieur. Eh bien, je désire parler avec lui. Allez, bien, monsieur. Oh, allez avec lui. Très bien, monsieur. What are you doing in here? Good morning. What are you doing here? Jasper is my name. I heard uh, this, this little man say that he took the wrong briefcase from the dining car last night. And as I have lost mine, I came in here to find it. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Well, why couldn't you ask the train conductor or my secretary in the proper way? Oh, uh, I was in a hurry. This is the case. But... There's something missing from it. Mills, do you know anything about this? No, sir. There was something of value in the case. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Is that any reason for turning my compartment upside down? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so careless. I now, look here. You can't fool me. You're just a common train thief. Now, look here. I'm not a man to be trifled with. Mills, ring that bell. Yeah, yes, sir. No. One of you has taken something out of the case. But you are going to hand it over. No. Now look here. Now, now don't be a fool. Now uh, put that revolver away. <laughs> Not quite so brave now. Hmm? Come, come, hand it over. Well, you must be raving mad. We know nothing about it. Now, now, put that away and be sensible. You dare shoot. No? Just a minute. Open the door. Mr. McBain, you are wanted. I found this man ransacking my compartment. He was trying to help you, monsieur. Undoubtedly. He turned the whole compartment upside down. He said some property of his been stolen from his briefcase. Oh, the briefcase. I will explain uh, this no, little... No, uh, no, no. You shall explain later. The portail is the Signor Jolif. Vieni, vieni. Pardon me. Allez, on the way. I must ask you to come and see Monsieur Joly. He wishes to speak to you. He is in the Fourcombe bagage. Joly? But the police inspector? Oui, Monsieur. What does he want me for? He will explain himself. 
If you can spare a few moments, monsieur. Certainly. Certainly. I will allow me to attend to my hand first. Certainement, monsieur. Merci, madame. You are hurt, sir? Oh, just a grade or something. If I hadn't shown considerable presence of mind, Mills, it might have been very much worse. Yes, sir. I expect it's splinter of glass from the mirror. If we don't fool about now, go and get something for it. Yes, sir. If I get off this train without a rope round my neck, I'll say goodbye to Mr. Serta for good and all. Tony, I'll leave this movie business too, if you say so. What do you mean? You and me? Why not? Think of it. Free. Free to go where you want, to do what you want. As long as you want. No managers, no Zerters. Why, you can start life. Excuse me. Sir? Yes, they've got him. What are we going to do? What's he going to say? That's the point. Do you suppose he'll drag you into it? I don't know. He may. Mr. McBain. There's something hidden behind here. It's a picture. It's the Van Dyke. No, sir, no, sir, look. That's what the man was after. Somebody must have placed it here while we were out of the room. No. No, it was in the briefcase. You hid it. Well? What are you doing? Take this picture, Monsieur Jolly. You leave that where it is. No, sir. No, sir, it's my duty. Of course, it might help me to forget my duty if I were offered some inducement. Such as? Such as a directorship in one of your companies at a salary of, shall we say, 2,000 a year. Blackmail? Hmm? No, not blackmail. Only what you owe me for years of slave driving at a salary you'd be ashamed to offer a scullery maid. Mr. Alistair McBain, the millionaire philanthropist, the soul of benevolence. Why, you wouldn't offer a blind beggar a farthing. Signor Jolie begs la signorina to spare him a few moments at once. He wants me? Si, signorina. Well, I'll come with you. Signor Jolie instructions that to bring la signorina only. Oh, I'll come right away. Si. You'd better stay here. You are still quite certain that you wish me to question this lady? I don't wish you to do so. I think the lady may be very angry. Indeed. Uh, I must ask you to remain silent while I am questioning her. Oh, I should not dream of interrupting your tete-a-tete. -tete. Ah. The tray is seated, mademoiselle. You wanted me? I am investigating a murder which took place on this train last night. You will appreciate that any answers you care to make may have very serious consequences. A murder? Who? Tell me, mademoiselle. Have you seen this gentleman before? Yes. Why? Because he tells me that he visited your compartment last night. Suppose I was not alone in my compartment. Does that concern you? Then you do not deny Monsieur Zerter's statement. May I ask why he found it necessary to tell you this? You may answer, Monsieur. If for some reason, Monsieur Jolliffe appears to suspect me. He wished to know what I did with my time after one o'clock this morning. You may guess how it pains me to involve uh, others. But I have uh, no alternative. You understand? I see. Then I have no alternative either. Well, mademoiselle? Um, Monsieur Zerta's statement is quite correct. He was with me in my compartment last night. At what time did he visit you? Just after one o'clock. You seem very sure of the I was time. expecting him. When did he leave? In the morning. 
You understand, mademoiselle, that you will be required to swear to this statement on oath? Yes, I understand that. Delivery is billet. Well, uh, if you are satisfied now, Mr. Jolly, maybe the lady and I go back to our compartment. I'm afraid not. I am not content. There is still much to be explained. And unless I get exactly what I want, the newspapers are going to write one more story, telling the public exactly how Mr. McBain does his art collecting. Well, no. I suppose you have the advantage of it. And the, the directorship? Uh, yes. Two thousand a year? Yes. I, I, I want this in writing. You got my word? Yes, I do. No. You mustn't develop a suspicious nature, you know. That would never do. We should never get on. I suppose... You're quite sure that is the Van Dyke? Mm -hmm. There's no fear of that, sir. I know his work. Let me see. I'm afraid, Mills, they will never take your word against mine. What? What do you mean? You do not have made a very good director, Mills. No, but, sir. But, Mr. McBain. Mr. McBain, where are you going? What are you going to do? Well, uh, this morning I heard that Mr. McBain had possession of the case by mistake. So I went to his compartment to uh, recover my losses. I see. Have I your permission to smoke, Monsieur Jolly? Certainly. Please. Um, no, thank you. Mademoiselle? No, thank you. Here's only me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. How do you do? I think, monsieur, I have seen your picture many times in the newspaper. Ah, indeed. And I expect you've seen this picture, too. The picture that was stolen? Yes, the Van Dyke. Stolen from the Murdoch collection. How did you come to find it? I found it behind a mirror in my compartment. A mirror in your compartment? How it got there, I cannot imagine. And you, Mills? No, sir. I begin to see. The dead man had this picture in his briefcase. He knew that he was pursued. He hid it for greater safety. And that is what you are searching for in the compartment. Voilà, monsieur. So, you were with this lady last night? Yes. Until morning? Yes. And yet the other occupant of your compartment tells me that you returned at 1.30. <laughs> How could he? He was asleep. Asleep? How do you know if you were with this lady? Your story is a lie from beginning to end. What if it was? What have that got to do with it? That doesn't prove me to be a murderer. The man who killed Paul is the man who stole the picture from him. Do you ask me to believe that this briefcase is were exchanged by accident? <laughs> Do you ask me to believe that this picture was found in Mr. McBain's compartment by accident? <laughs> I was so stupid that you cannot see that Mr. McBain is the man you want! Oh, come on! Oh. Ah! Are we in a turn? of trouble. You, mademoiselle, have told a story which is false. You, monsieur, have confessed to being an associate of the dead man, Zerta. It is almost irregular. However, after all, I am on my holiday. Au revoir, mademoiselle. You mean that... We can go. They say, monsieur, that I never forget a face. But I fear that my memory is not as good as it used to be. I think I shall forget yours. Oh, thank you. But never yours, mademoiselle. Yes. Tony. 
Got your gloves? Yes. And your bag? Yes. You sure you've left nothing? No, I'm quite sure. Congratulations. So they've let you off. Splendid, splendid. Delighted, Thank delighted. You. You've been very lucky. You know what these foreigners are? Oh, but Jolly says we've got nothing to worry about now. Yes, well, truth will out and justice will prevail. <laughs> Very embarrassing for the lady, though. Yes, very embarrassing. Excuse me a moment. But you know that... Uh, Bishop, Tom, I want to talk to you. You know, this has been or rather a ghastly mistake. Mrs. Max is going back home at once, and I'm going on to La Naples alone. Can I rely on you, I'm My sure? My dear fellow, of course, of Thank course. <laughs> Silent you. is the grave. Discretion is the better part of Wagon Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Oh, goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Goodbye. Uh, that me uh, clubs you. Well, 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 gentlemen. So you managed to get here, eh? Well, how are you all? My arrival doesn't appear to have excited much interest, Mills. There's nobody here to welcome me. Yes, sir. I, I notified all the news agencies, too, sir. All right, all right, all right. Don't say anything. We mustn't waste time or we'll miss Miss Aston Marvell now. All you boys got to do is to follow me and I'll fix everything. Come on. Benissimo. Believe me, boys, this is going to be the greatest day for Rome since Julius Caesar was bumped off by the Ides of March. Come on. <laughs> Charity doesn't seem to get one very far, Mills, does it? No, sir. I think I'd better look out for a porter, sir. There's nothing of the kind. Wasting money in that way. Sure, you can manage that baggage by yourself. Yes, sir. And who's this? He's the secretary for entertainment. Oh, yeah. And who's this over here? Him, he's his grace, the Duke of Montelas. Oh, come here, Duke. Madame Marvell will be deeply touched with this reception, gentlemen. Deeply touched. She'll be here any moment now. Any moment now. 